high from now until Sunday. But next week, even though it's way far out in the future and model projections can change, it looks like next week we could get some better rain opportunities coming our way. But we do have to wait. We're going to have plenty of sunshine throughout this week and starting tonight for trick or treating. It's warm, it's humid, but we'll stay mostly dry. We could see a stray shower on Wednesday, not really counting on that by any means at all. As we head throughout the next several hours, we'll see some scattered clouds sticking around. First to know Titan Doppler radar not showing much. There could be a stray shower in western Franklin County. Very light. That is it. We will trend dry throughout the rest of tonight. Clouds will clear up overnight. We'll get a little bit cooler by tomorrow too, with low temperatures dropping into the middle 50s by our early Tuesday morning hours. There's going to be some lingering moisture in our eastern community, so the southeast Big Bend could see some areas of fog for the Tuesday morning commute. Maybe give yourself a few extra minutes if you're heading in that direction or leaving from there. And because of that, temperatures in the southeast Big Bend will be closer to 60 degrees, but areas west will be in the middle 50s. 54 tomorrow morning in Bainbridge, 57 in Tallahassee and Thomasville. Definitely more comfortable. Humidity will be lower tomorrow. It's still going to be warm. We'll have plenty of sunshine with high temperatures rising into the low 80s, so we are going to be a few degrees warmer than average all of this week, but the good news is it's going to be beautiful. Plenty of sunshine really is the story tomorrow. Clouds will be out of here by the morning. They might linger in our eastern communities early tomorrow, but we're looking at bright blue sky, a nice calm breeze coming from the north. And then on Wednesday, we could see a few more clouds trying to build with a quick upper level system skirting by to our north might provide a stray shower for us in South Georgia or the Big Bend. Like I said, there's really not much happening here, so we'll probably stay dry all this week. Here's a quick peek at the tropics. This is Tropical Storm Lisa. It is south of Jamaica in the Central Caribbean Sea. That's where it's going to stay, in the Caribbean. It is going to continue to move west. It might strengthen before it reaches landfall somewhere near Belize or in Central America later this week. So we'll just watch that, but we don't have to worry about it here in the United States. That would be a concern for people living in Central America or traveling there. And it looks like there's another disturbance in the Central Atlantic Ocean as well. Low chances for development and it's heading to the northeast anyway, out into the middle of the ocean. Nothing going on there. Check out the seven day forecast highs in the low.